hey Chan, this is a 1.0 version of the product. Uh, that's why, you know, it doesn't have all the features you expect yet, and that's why I've made the price a little bit lower during this introductory period. But it's still got a lot of features. You've got sections, you can have, you know, page numbering that restarts with each section. Uh, it's got columns, you can have multiple columns, you have multiple uh, types of columns on one page. You can have three columns and then go to two columns and go to one column or whatever. Uh, and as you see, it's got uh, support for things like tables. Uh, but the rules of typography, I mean, they're well known. They've been around for 300 years. Uh, uh, typesetters have been following these rules forever. Uh, I don't know why word processors don't follow them. And that's why I think there's a need for a product like PageHand. I'm going to launch PageHand. The first thing I want you to notice is that one bounce in the dock and it's, and it's up and loaded. You know, there's no waiting. Uh, I'm going to open a document here. You can see that it's a PDF document. Let me show you just some of the typography features of PageHand. This is Heffler text. That's the default font in, uh, in PageHand. Uh, you can see that uh, if you use Heffler text, you know that the numerals are uh, by default in lowercase format. Now there is a, uh, a typography option that you can get to by going to the font palette and then the typography palette and you look for it in order to change that. Uh, PageHand puts that right here in in the sidebar. So with this uh, button here we can see all the typography options for that font. So let's just change that to uppercase numbers. Let's say we want to make this uh, the sentence that says regular caps. We want to put it in small caps. Easy to do in PageHand. And what PageHand has done is gone into the Heffler text font and looked to see if the type designer has included small caps in that font. That's not synthesized, that's what the type designer has specified and those are the, those are the small caps that you'll get in page hand. And one of the things that people really need to use in word processors is styles. So you want to use uh, styles, there are different ways to create a style, but if you want to edit a style or if you want to inspect a style and see exactly what it does, super easy to do uh, in page hand. These are the same controls. Everything that's in that you can do at the character level, you can do in a character style. Everything in the paragraph level, you can do in a paragraph style. You want to insert uh, a Zap Dingbat. Well, there's all your Zap Dingbats in PageHand. Uh, not only Zap Dingbats, we got that, but we also look through the other fonts on your system looking for ornaments. Here's some uh, ornaments that come with Heffler text. There's some really pretty uh, uh, ornaments and florons in. Apple Chancery. Most people don't know them. They don't bother, you know, it's kind of hard to track them down. PageHand knows where they are and helps you find them. Other things like uh, you want to insert a fraction. PageHand can help you do a typographically correct fraction. You can tweak it uh, the way you want, uh, but it'll make a much nicer fraction than you get just by typing uh, a regular slash character. If you want your document to look right, you need to know about the right kind of characters, including spaces. Uh, right here on the, uh, on, on the insert menu, you can see we've got different kinds of spaces, different kinds of dashes. You want to do a, a character, uh, an, a, a, a diacritic character on uppercase A or lowercase A, or you want to put the Sedell under the C. It's all easy to do in page hand. It takes longer to look at an icon and figure out what it does and click on it than it, when, you, when you're writing than it does to see a word and, and click on that word. And so PageHand uses text whenever you're using the left side of your brain for a left brain activity, which is most of the time. But occasionally you are doing something with the right side of the brain, like you're looking at the, uh, uh, the shape of a paragraph or a page. And then we use uh, controls that are optimized for the right side of the brain. One of the ways we preserve this space as much as we can it's by using flying toolbars. I'm going to click in the, in the header of this document and you can see uh, that the toolbar is going to change. I've flown in a special toolbar that's got controls just for editing a section. Uh, and it's only a few controls, but those controls give you lots of power over lots of different things. Finally, the, uh, the file format, as I mentioned earlier, is, uh, is PDF. So this is a document, however I make it with all my nice typography, I can send it to someone and they're going to see that document exactly the way I created it. 
Yes, uh, I'm going to start uh, announcing it. Uh, I'm hoping two to three weeks after after WD, WDC. There's a few issues that I want to go over with the Apple engineers here uh, to make sure that my implementation is correct before I uh, before I do a general announcement. The product is available now, however, and if you go to PageHand.com. Um, it's there for you to, load, uh, to download, try it for 30 days, and uh, if you're interested and want to purchase it, well, you can do that too.